Lastly, I want to refresh your memory as to what it is that New Orleans police are justifiably famous for. Uh-oh. I said famous, not infamous. This is a good thing. This is something that we do right. Cool. Very boss. Every day, every night, every minute in the life of this city, some asshat undergraduate from shit for brain state college or some poly blend worry conventioneer from Des Moines staggers out into the French Quarter looking for rum and happiness. Three hours later, they're wearing their own puke on Bourbon Street and waving beads at some topless progeny from an Arkansas trailer park. <laughs> Let Bourbon Street be Bourbon Street, ladies and gentlemen. Because there is nothing there that requires our reform, short of, say, actual sex or human sacrifice in the street. <laughs> his pants were his fucking ankles. Understood, Officer Landry. And while the general rule of thumb is that topless walks and bottomless gets the cuffs, I note from the incident report that the arrestee was still wearing undershorts. You see the crack of his ass, though. <laughs> it was slipping. Yes, and yet, that tells me that our suspect, while he may have lost his pants amid his misadventure, was not truly attempting an act of fornication or self-pleasure on the street. In any other city of Christendom, this man was indecently exposed, but in our bailiwick, he was, I will argue, momentarily underdressed. <laughs> I say again, let Bourbon Street be Bourbon Street. And by all means, avoid taking yourself off the street with an arrest that you can possibly duck. Got it, boss. Anything else, Sergeant? We've all covered it, sir. Have a safe shift. You hear about Mike Hunter? Headquarters rumor mill has the grand jury going after him and the others like he's lying about Danziger. Yeah. Eddie Jordan's on the hunt, ain't he? Can't bring a damn murder case to court, but this Dan Zinger mess, he's right up our ass. Huh? It's either him or a runaway grand jury. For Christ's sakes. I was right there when the shoot to kill looters order came down to district commanders. If you can sleep on it, you can do it. That's what they told us. I know they put that out there even if they won't admit it now. It was a bad shoot, but why lie? All those guys have to do is tell the grand jury we received that order, and they followed that order. Anything that happened after that, it might be bad police work, but it ain't illegal. The storm was a mess, you know? And I don't doubt that some bad shit happened. I... But was there bad intent? We can't look back. We need to deal with it here and now. <laughs>